What's going on guys? So in today's video, it's gonna be a real quick one. I've been getting some requests from some people that wanted to see exactly how I perfume at home and like what kind of setup I have. And to be honest, it's a real simple setup. It's a small setup. I try not to keep too many materials on hand. Uh, this room is a spare bedroom that used to be a recording room for me. I used to do music and things like that there, but now it is a perfumery room. So this is where I keep all my materials and where I do my blending. So yeah, let's go check it out and see what this is all about, shall we? Let's go. Okay, so everybody wants to see where I kind of dabble in my perfumery and I do it in a spare bedroom here. And da, 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 da. there's a bunch of musical equipment in here because I used to mess in music and that's been kind of overtaken by perfumery, obviously. Let me come on in here. Got my little computer workstation with a big old TV for a monitor because, you know, sometimes you just want to see things clearly without squinting. And this is where I do it. This is my perfumer's organ, I guess you could say. And it's not really an organ because I don't like it when bottles are sitting out and about everywhere in your face. I keep everything stored away in these little rolling storage carts with drawers. We got down here some perfumers, alcohol, some beakers, glass pipettes. A bunch of bottles are sitting out right now because I'm working on a men's autumn fragrance. We've got here two trial batches. I'm doing an AB test. A little uh, bottle crimping press machine for making bottles. Ooh. And then. Let's see what we got going on in my carts here. Uh, empty drawer full of more beakers. This is all pretty much base notes, woods. This is all top notes pretty much. This is all my diluted materials. If I dilute things down to like 10%, 20%, 1%. Here. Oh, these are all my powders and solids, absolutes. All my middle notes, florals and stuff like that. This is just a random thing in here, just larger bottles of just things that I need more and more of. Down here, oh. Now these are all my bases and blends. These are all my pre-made accords that I do with my own little blends, so it saves me some time. And then this last one is pretty much empty. Got some dyes up here for dyeing perfumes. Empty, waiting for more materials to, once I buy more things, more empty bottles waiting to be filled with more things. And again, another empty drawer. Waiting for more things. Because I buy stuff almost every week. Yeah, so that's it. It's not a traditional perfumer's organ, but that's the way I like it. Everything's neat and organized. And I can just hop around from chair to table and get stuff done. So that's how I do it. Enjoy. Enjoy. 